Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the speed bar and, and how to use it and kind of make matrix just a little bit more friendly for you and, and maybe a little bit more efficient. So I'm going to click into the speed bar and, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly do a search for Grimes properties, let's say in between 150 and 250,000 with at least three bedrooms. So I'm going to type A res Grimes 150 to 250 three plus beds and hit enter. And so now you can see that it's given us uh, our, our, our properties um, and everything that's matching our criteria. And now what I want to do is I actually want to go look at how I did that, break that down a little bit more so that hopefully uh, people can understand the speed bar just a little bit better. All right, so now what we want to do is we just want to look a little closer at the different information bits that we can put into the speed bar to get the results that we want from matrix. So we're going to create a, a quick speed bar cheat sheet for you. One of the bits of information that we can put in is the status. If we wanted active listings, we'd put in an A. If we wanted pending listings, we'd put in a P. If we wanted sold listings, we'd put in an S. We can also work with class, RES for residential, LND for land, COM for commercial, or MUL for multifamily. If you don't put anything in for a class, it's going to do a cross property search for you and search across all of the classes. The next box is MLS area. We could do Grimes, Adele, Waukee, Clive, Urbandale. And then we have type, C-O-N-D, T-O-W-N for condos or townhomes, resident for residential, or acreages for acreages. Now we have price. The key with price is the dollar sign here. So we could put in dollar sign 150 hyphen 250, and that's going to search in between 150,000 and 250,000. Or if we add a plus or minus at the end, it'll go 150 and higher or 150 and lower. Square feet works the same way, 1,000 hyphen 2,000, except instead of the money sign at the front, we're going to add a space SQFT at the end. Beds and baths I put here in this way to represent the order that you put beds and baths. In the speed bar, you can pretty much put anything in any order that you want to. You could do price first or status first or class first. But when it comes to beds and baths, if you're going to put in both of them, you want to do beds first and baths second. Acres, we could do 5 hyphen 10 space ACRES or 5 plus or 5 minus. In zip, of course, we just pick a zip code that we wanted, 50111, 50322, 50265, etc. So now the object with the speed bar here is to take any one of these or any mixture of them and put them into the speed bar to ob obtain quicker results. So if I was looking for um, active residential condos under $150,000, I would type A space RES space C-O-N-D-T-O-W-N -N space money sign 150 negative and then hit enter to return those results. Now there's a couple other quick tips on the speed bar that, that I really enjoy and the first one is the asterisks. The asterisk includes everything after and, and this has been a, a big help when I'm just using that that speed bar kind of like you used to use the quick search bar in, in, mate, or in Fusion. So let's say I'm looking for a house 123 Driftwood Lane but sometimes you'll see agents put Driftwood as one word and sometimes you'll see them put it as two words. So if it's 123 Driftwood and it's two words Drift Space Wood and I search for 123 Driftwood one word, it's not going to return that result. I'm going to completely miss that listing. So a, a, a neat way to kind of work around this would be in the speed bar to type in one, two, three, drift asterisk. What that asterisk says is I want the first part of this and then anything after it. And we'll revisit that in matrix so that you can see that uh, working. And then the next one is AG for agent. Uh, this, this has been a, a quick tool for me anytime I'm trying to find an agent's phone number or email or, or something like that. In the speed bar, I'll type in AG space and then the agent's name, hit return, and it'll return that information for me. And we'll show you that in Matrix too. 
So now we have our first set of criteria that we that we had listed and kind of went over, and then we're going to add these other two pieces of, of criteria here for you. And if uh, you have access to the Remax Real Estate Con Concepts Google Drive, this uh, cheat sheet is in there waiting. Okay, now we're back in Matrix, so let's have a little fun with some of the stuff that we just went over. Let's say, for instance, that I want to search for a residential home in Waukee that is 100,000 to 150,000 with at least three bedrooms. So I would type in A, RES, Waukee, money sign, 100, 150, three plus beds, enter. And there's the information that, that we get returned to us. So let's go back home again and let's talk uh, about the AG, the agent code. So let's say that I needed to find Adam Bunce. I need to figure out how to contact him or, or get his phone number uh, or his email. I could type in AG space Adam space Bunce, enter. And then it will return the result and give me all the information I need, including my glamour shots from my Iowa Realty days. All right, let's go back home again. And now let's talk a little bit about the asterisks. So um, I'm gonna, we'll give a free plug here to Chris Albright and Brandon Wynn and they're, they're listing at 2090 uh, Sylvan. But let's say that I didn't know how to spell Sylvan. It's S-Y-L-V-A-N, but I was looking for it as S-Y-L-V-A-N-E. So if I come into the speed bar and I press 2909 Sylvan like that, I get nothing. So let's say that I know that uh, I'm not quite sure I know how to spell this this word. I'm not sure how it ends. So I'm going to type in 2090SYLVA and then I'm going to put the asterisk. And remember that asterisk is telling us that everything after that asterisk can be anything that it wants as long as it meets this first part of criteria. And I'm going to hit enter and now it's going to return it for me so that I have that, that listing and it was a little bit easier for me to find. Okay, and now to take this just one step farther, you know, one of the reasons that I like the quick search is sometimes if, if I'm looking to do a little bit of market research and I want to see sold properties, I want to know what sold in Grimes that meets a, a certain criteria. So if I go sold residential Grimes, let's say in between 100 and 200 and hit enter boy that turns back a lot of listings and the reason that it does this at uh, 1464 is because I'm not specifying how far back I want those solds to be so at this point the speed bar has kind of failed me it's 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 not giving me the information that I want to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rule I'm going to go search and I'm going to do a residential quick search I'm going to uncheck active and I'm just going to check sold and it's sold within zero and 180 days and I want only residential right I, I don't want this set up for condos or townhomes I only want it for residential so then I'm going to hit results and it's going to give me all of my results but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click save and I'm going to click save a new speed bar shortcut. Now the, sp the speed bar shortcuts have to start with this slash here. So I'm going to go after the slash and then I'm going to hit RS for residential sold 180. And that's just the code. It's going to tell me that I'm looking for solds that were 180 days back. And I'm going to type in a description residential sold 180 days back and then I'm going to hit save. Now let's go back home real quick and the reason that I left that bland that I didn't that I didn't put in Grimes or I didn't put in Waukee and I didn't put in uh, square foot and I didn't put in a price point was because I wanted that information to be able to change quickly. What I wanted to do was create a shortcut for 180 days of sold history but I wanted to be able to apply it to anything. So now what I can do is I can go hyphen RS 180 space Grimes 
space, let's say 1,000 to 1,500 square feet, hit enter, and now very quickly I can return everything that's sold in Grimes in the past 180 days that's residential in between 1,000 and 1,500 square feet.